Everything looks normal as residents go about their business as usual. But hidden away is a spooky side. From Winchester's Patterson House and the Ortega Highway to the Palomar Inn and Riverside's downtown bookstore, stories about supernatural phenomena have been intriguing locals for decades. Craig Owens writes about California's haunted hotels in Haunted by History and has personally experienced paranormal activity in Old Town Temecula's Palomar Inn. Out of all the 16 hotels that I investigated in Southern California, I would say that the Palomar Inn is the most active. Craig rented out the hotel for a couple of nights while researching his book, and that's when his audio recording equipment captured a lot of spine-chilling activity. There were voices throughout the night, and one of the ones that creeped me out was that I was about to take my last cigarette break for the night, locked up my room, and as I was walking down the stairs, this big, deep male voice said, but it's weird because I felt like I was being the one that was watched. Here I am looking for ghosts and, and this voice seems to indicate that whatever was there was actually watching and actually recognizing my behavior patterns. So it was in reverse. He was human hunting, I guess. He also captured a ghostly image while staging 1930s era photos for his book's illustrations. I was trying to get this one shot and I had a model on the stairs with a fake Tommy gun pointing it up, flipping through these photos. And in one of the frames, only in one, there is this shadowy figure. I, but I was um, hard pressed to explain how that could not have been non-paranormal. Another famously haunted spot in Riverside County is the Patterson House. Built in 1891, it's the oldest private residence still standing in Winchester. People say it's a hotbed of paranormal activity. Professional ghost hunters have filmed orbs and recorded eerie voices here. Early on, before we actually had the house, some people had come into the house and decided that they wanted to spend the night here. One of the things, that the phenomenons that they found at that time was something bouncing down the stairs. When they came out, there was nothing there. Since then, of course, we've had multiple paranormal groups in here. And like I said, the list goes on and on. The piano plays by itself. Upstairs, the spinning wheel will spin in one direction and then backwards. We have the feeling that all the energy is positive. They're friendly, as long as you do not challenge them. The Ortega Highway connects Riverside and Orange County. It is one of our country's most dangerous highways and has earned a reputation for being haunted by unearthly beings. Many have claimed to see a clown on the side of the road while driving the highway late at night. Probably the most haunted location in Riverside County is the Mission Inn, an expansive resort built in 1878 and situated right in the city of Riverside. It is said to be haunted by the original owner's children, Frank and Alice Miller, who both died tragically. Guests have reported being touched or pushed, seeing phantom blue lights, and hearing Alice singing. Here we are around the corner from the Mission Inn at the downtown bookstore, where paranormal activity has been felt. This spirit box, it what it does, it picks up the radio frequencies in the air and the spirits manipulate them, they, it's easier for them to speak in real time. We can hear it in real time as it's sweeping through the stations. Maybe it's, it's Frank Miller here. Frank, are you here? It's always fun to have a ghostly experience for a thrill and chill. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, it is hard to deny that there are many mysteries in our own backyard.